On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper who never missed a spot. Backstage though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Spex's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co-workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, you made me mess up, made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. could ever forget Whizzer and his hilarious bathroom breaks. His time out for number one adorned lunchboxes all over the nation for the better part of the 70s. Behind the scenes though, Whizzer's bladder problems were no laughing matter. The writers learned early on never to give Whizzer the only existing copy of the script. On the set, they even had a term for a script that needed to be redone. It's been whizzed. Oh, that Whizzer, he just charred my little pants off from day one. You don't even wear pants. Sure, not anymore. Four years after the soda poppers went off the air, Wizard desperately fought his addiction to designer bottled water, a war he would ultimately lose. The problem came to a climax one evening during a formal dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant. Visibly loaded with water, Wizard publicly was unable to hold it in. Unable to hold it in all over the floor, most of the tablecloth, and even, ironically, the four-foot-tall ice sculpture of himself created specifically for the occasion. Coming up next, the soda popper known for a really big part of his anatomy. Audiences all over the world fell in love with Peepers and his cute big eyes. On the set, though, Peepers was not quite so beloved. While his high-pitched voice was a hit with audiences, it reportedly drove a number of his co-workers to alcoholism. Eventually, the show's director stopped bringing Peepers back in to loop missing dialogue, getting the needed lines simply by scraping his fingernails over a chalkboard. I never noticed the difference. Even after the show left the airwaves, Peepers' I Can See You warmed the hearts of all who heard it. All that is, except apparently the students of Our Lady of Butter Toast Girls' School. Keeper's tenure as the gym teacher for the prestigious Catholic school came to an abrupt end when his familiar catchphrase was taken the wrong way in the girls' locker room. And coming up next, the child star who never was. Few, if any, remember the show that the soda poppers replaced. Culture's Clubhouse, hailed as television for the sophisticated six to eight year old, fell victim to the soda popper juggernaut and was quickly scrapped. Its young star, Brady Culture, struggled to find work and acceptance in the wake of the show's cancellation. Unable to find another role, Brady dabbled in every religion, creed, and belief system he could find. Buddhism, Judaism, Pointillism, Scientology, Horsematology, Nerfmatology, Prismatology, and even Stinkmatology. But what ultimately became of Brady Culture? No one knows. Brady Culture's being lifted from obscurity by his former rivals? I think this qualifies as a baffling mystery, Sam. You may be right. Coming up next, we'll repeat everything you've just heard. Welcome back to episode two, everyone. You just saw a little bit about the soda poppers, Brady Culture, and why Brady Culture might be a little spiteful toward the soda poppers. Now we're going to check out the Ibo video. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse. 
the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines! You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. And now we know the silly plot twist. Hypnosis. Now that we know what's happening to the soda poppers, let's try and figure out a way to help them. First, let's go give out that ticket, so we can have the money to get Bosco's new invention. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Sam and Max titles usually have a few driving parts in each season. It's a little puzzle of its own. You can just drive around recklessly if you want, shoot at stuff, but eventually you'll have to actually solve it. different funny options you can say to people when you pull them over, and I'll put them all at the end of this video. But for now I'm just going to show you what you're supposed to do. My condolences for your tail light. Pull over! Hello. Know why we stopped you? No. What? Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it! Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Oh, uh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. My attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker! can pay Bosco, but first we'll check out some items in front of his store. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. It says this year's fashion is somehow different from last year's fashion. But I still have the same brain I had last year. Actually, you don't, but most people do. Tragedy, greed, cruelty, and sports scores. That's one of my favorite bands. I don't think I want to know any more about what's going on in the world than I already do. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. It takes me back to my childhood. Hmm. Trader, self loading weekly. Oh, let me see that. Hey, Bosco, what can I do for you? How about some unwarranted compliments? 
Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. How do you get out of that cage anyway? That's for me to know and you never to find out. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You'd been robbed as many times as I have, you'd do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. What were we talking about? We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me, trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? The 10,000 just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. I'm glad everyone was so concerned for Sam's health. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. What harm could it do, right? No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Whee! I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Sludgies. With 100% all-natural sludge. This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Chilled and preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. Public restrooms, unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Time out for number one! Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Maybe he'll have more use for this than we do. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one! We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining than it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> uh, Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... Better just check on him. I don't want to wake him up. Whee! Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! We'll come back when we find a way to wake him up.